One of the most common recommendations when looking into your page speed is to eliminate render blocking resources. So if you're watching this video, odds are it's because it's the issue you're trying to fix today. So let's talk about how to do that. First, let's understand what are render blocking resources. Render blocking resources are made up of JavaScript and CSS files, and they largely affect the crucial metrics such as largest contentful paint and first input delay. They affect them because these resources slow down the rendering of the page and are non-critical for loading the page as well. In short, the immediate need to use the resource will determine if the resource is render blocking or not. Think of tracking codes for Google Analytics. That is a render blocking resource. And to break this down even more, when you load a page, the browser has to analyze the HTML of the page, it needs to render the page and show the above the fold content to the user. But if the browser encounters JavaScript and CSS, it has to download and analyze those files too, which in long term means the page takes longer to load. So when you boil it down, the render blocking resources delayed the page load for no valid reason. As of now, it should be evident onto why you want to remove these render blocking resources and why you get that message. So now how do you find these render blocking resources. Luckily, PageSpeed Insights makes it super easy as they will give you the list of the files having the impact. As you can see from this example, it's common to have CSS and render blocking resources such as trackers and style sheets needed to paint elements below the fold. Now, once you know your render blocking resources, there are two main ways to go about it. First is the defer option. This means the JavaScript and CSS files will be only downloaded while the browser parses the HTML code. This means the browser will parse them only after the HTML parsing is finished. Please note that the browser will execute the files in the exact order they appear in the code. Second is the async option. Once again, the JavaScript and CSS files will only be downloaded while the browser parses the HTML code. However, this time the browser will start parsing them only after downloading all the resources, which means that the HTML parsing could still be going on. And unlike the defer option, the files won't necessarily be executed in the order they appear in the code. These two options accomplish the same goal, they just execute it slightly different. In our recommendations, the defer option is the safest choice when you have files that are interdependent. In any other case though, you can use the async option as an alternative. So now let us first give you a very surface level explanation on how to eliminate render blocking CSS with these two steps. It should be noted, if you want to have a complete in-depth walkthrough, check out the article in the description below and take a deep dive into these manual ways yourself. First, you will need to extract and inline the critical path CSS using a CSS generator tool such as Sitelocity. And then second, load the rest of the classes in async by applying the specific pattern that we link to within the article. Like I said, it's kind of hard to show in the video. Now, if you have no clue how to do this and you just want this fixed, an easier alternative to fix this is with our plugin WP Rocket. It offers the option to remove unused CSS in just one click. This option will remove all style sheets and inline CSS from the HTML and it will add the UCSS as an inline CSS element, which will reduce page size and page load time. Now let's get into eliminate render blocking JavaScript. As you heard before in the previous example, you can use the both async and defer options once again to tackle the JavaScript render blocking resources. Once you identify these JavaScript files, you can include the async or defer attribute in the code. Here's an example of the defer attribute, and here is an example of the async attribute. When choosing which attribute to implement, please keep in mind the recommendations I shared in the previous section of this video. Once again, if you're just looking for an easy fix, our plugin can also help you with deferring the loading of your JavaScript files in the simplest way. The load JavaScript deferred feature allows you to defer the JavaScript render blocking resources with no extra knowledge. What's more is you can also exclude any JavaScript file from being deferred if you need it. Now, if you are interested in learning more about improving your core web vitals, check out the multiple blog posts that we have on them linked below in the description as well as installing our plugin WP Rocket for the easiest way to take care of your PageSpeed insights without any of the hassle. Hopefully this could help you and goodbye.